What is up YouTube? How's it going everyone? It's Spark the Marky Mark here and I'm here to do a little review and unboxing for a certain item. Of course, and what is this item that I'm talking about? It's, when you're judging by the titles you're actually seeing, it is for the NECA Ultimate, the NECA Halloween 2 Michael Myers, Ultimate Michael Myers Faker. NECA Faker. Done by the C people that did the Predator and and of course the Jason, and then there's the Hellraiser, then there's the, um, what else? Oh yeah, the Texas Chainsaw, and the Nightmare on Elm Street, and the Predators. Shouts to you people. And of course Universal Studios. Speaking of which, this year we're getting Halloween Kills, and of course um, it's going to be distributed by Universal Studios. But Dino De Laurentiis was, uh, is no more with us, and may he rest in peace, but... Ultimately, he interference because, of course, there were some interference with Halloween 2, in which Rick Rosenbaum wasn't aware of what was cut from the movie. So here it is. This is the cover art, poster artwork from the movie. Here's the pumpkin, Halloween 2, Neko Wheel Toys. Then you have the back. It comes with the pumpkin. The pumpkin splitting open. You see the skull at the beginning of the, of the second film. Um, you have the Ben Tramer mask in which ultimately revealing in the, in tour, somewhere in the part when they're in the Myers house and the friends of Ben Tramer come over and tell, uh, deputy, um, Gary Hunt that a friend of theirs didn't came home and left the party at 10 and then he was real drunk and then Dr. Linda says, how old was, how old is he? 17. He had this stupid mask on. All right, boys, go on. 17, wearing a mask. Oh, God. And it was revealed that that was Ben Tramer, not Michael Myers. And then also, um, here's the mask that we do see Michael wearing throughout the film. Very good. Very good sculpt, of course. Then here's the blood tears towards the final act of the movie, where, of course, the female hero in Laurie Strode shoots Michael after Dr. Loomis gives her the gun and of course here's the scene in which after Laurie shoots Michael uh, he has the scalp and he's like whoosh 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 like a blind side that he can't see because he got shot and of course here comes it says here the accessories it includes uh, let's see scalpel a knife, syringe, hammer, opening pumpkin, three interchangeable hands. Okie dokie. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we have. Okay, gotta be careful. A little advice for any people who do collecting mega figures. If you go to stores, please be extreme careful of your collectors. Here it is, the way how Michael is posing. Very, very good. I got, if I do say so myself. Very, very astonishing how he stands and poses. And then, of course, you got your, um, let's see, you got the blind mask, you got the hammer, you got the L-Rod knife, which he steals from an elderly couple, the L-Rod, the L-Rods, after Mrs. L-Rod is making a ham sandwich for her husband. You have the syringe where he uses the, to put it on the nurse's head. And then there's the scalpel he uses throughout the film. And he and there's the hammer he uses to hit the security guard. And you have the three interchangeable hands for each weapon. You got the pumpkin. And I believe this is the one where you see the skull where it's opening during the introduction sequences. Then you have the mat then you have the this mask, then you have the Ben Tramer mask, or the blonde mask, of course. Then you have the one where he has the bloody tears because due to the fact that Michael is now, uh, what's the word for it, um, got shot in the head, I mean, shot in the face. And um, all in all, it's a great film and it takes place in the hospital. Oh, in Facebook, one million people like Halloween 2. I sure as heck like Halloween 2. I love the first one. I love the second one. And all in all, it was great, really. A great film and the stunt and the and the dude that plays 
Michael Myers in this one is played by stuntman actor Dick Warlock, who, of course, um, met John Carpenter and Deborah Hill on the set of Escape from New York, where he doubled Kurt Russell, and he, of course, at, got asked to play Michael Myers in Halloween 2. And he said, sure, okay. And then, if you've guys seen the making of featurettes, of course, or the Halloween 25 Years of Terror, you get what I'm saying. He wears the mask and he says, "Hi, I'm Dick Warlock. I'm here for the job," and he got it. He got and he got it. Of course, he got the job to play the stunt, play the stunts, and play Michael Myers. And over the years, throughout conventions, people still love about the way he walked, the way he moved, everything about it. And I gotta say, he played one intriguing villain in this in the second film. Uh, but just for the record, he. Um, it, this takes place after the first Halloween in which, of course, Michael's body is gone and then Dr. Loomis is out the hunt to get him again. And then everything goes crazy and then towards the final act, the doctor and the girl save the day. So, yeah. But also I heard throughout social media that... Um, Halloween Kills is not going to be just is not going to be um, in AMC theaters or something like that because I believe Universal Studios is banning that. I don't get it. But regular theaters, they're still opening for those. But AMC theaters out of the question. So yeah. So anyway, this is my sec. This is my second NECA figure that I got for my birthday, along with the Texas Chainsaw. Just for the record, I love the movies. I grew up on it. In fact, I do have it, of course, in, in my possession. Hold on for a moment. If you catch my drift, y'all, because this is indeed one of the best f f films in the entries of the franchise, including, of course, you have um, Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis again, Jamie Lee Curtis is back as the final girl, and then, of course, you have the actress, well, she had the nurse played by Nancy Stevens, Nurse Marion Chambers. And um, Charles Cyphers plays um, Lee Bracken, and then also you have new characters in the film. And also, um, that's all you're getting more, of course. And it was directed by a newcomer director named Rick Rosenbaum, believe it or not. And he got asked to do Halloween too. And this is one of the these I have in my collection. I have the 15 discs box set that I got, the limited edition one. Here it is. Give me a sec, dudes and dudettes. Let's open it gently. All right, I had to be careful. I need, I mean, I need to get more paper discs to make sure I have enough room. So, this universal, this disc I got from the Universal Bare Bones, of course, I still have this because one, it has subtitles. The Screen Factory on these don't have subtitles, but the Steelbook edition of Halloween Two does have subtitles. And here is the theatric, here is the Screen Factory theatrical version of Halloween Two. Then there is the television cut. I remember seeing the television cut years ago back when I was attending elementary school and there were scenes that made sense and such. Ultimately, in the making of Feature Red, which I'll leave in the description box down below, um, they talk, uh, Rick Rosendahl and says about that um, Dato De Laurentiis was the, dis the financier and distributor of the film. And then there were certain things that, that John and Deborah like, Dino De Laurentiis were, Dino De Laurent and Mustafa Cod likes something that Dino De Laurentiis wouldn't like, so that Dino Rentis would like Mustafa and Carpenter and Hill wouldn't like. So yeah, they did some changes, did a little reshoot here and there, and then um, also <laughs> the final scene where you see the character Jimmy did survive the movie, but ultimately we never see that. It's in this version, and nobody no, he didn't see the final product until it was distributed was it a it, there were dozens of decisions made could have been a producer's decision a studio decision uh, uh, 
that's all I gotta have to tell you. So I'll leave you the link in the description box down below. And of course, here's the reverse artwork for Halloween 2. Very good. And this is the poster art when the film came out, of course. So I'm gonna be very careful how I put these. I'm still gonna get paper sleeves. Just haven't got a chance to <laughs> with this situation going on. So anyway, um, drinking some H2O. Anyway, for in a, in a few days ago, um, um, well, later I'm gonna be posting a new video, of course, for a certain physical media company that's gonna be going out of business by the end of this summer. So keep in touch with the new video and. Uh, also, for signing off, subscribe to my chat, subscribe to my channel to be notified of my newest uploads, and like my videos and comment if you if you like it or so. And um, also, this is Sparky Marky Mark. Be safe out there. Take care, and God bless you. Signing off.